Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to our channel. And this video is going to be a very interesting video about one of the latest and most innovative AI tool which may replace Google search in near future. And I have been using this tool very extensively and really liking it. And I wanted to share my experience and uh, how you can use this tool for your advantage in this video. So before we get into it, I'll just give you a background. This is an artificial intelligence based AI based tool which can help you enhance your searching experience. And the way we search in Google, right? We get a lot of website links and then we go to each link separately to identify how the results are. Right. So for example, let's say if I search for, tell me about Deloitte as a company, right? So if you see here, there will be a lot of link uh, that is coming here and we have to go through each of these links. But today I'm going to talk about one of the very advanced uh, tool uh, called perplexity.ai. And here if we ask the same question, tell me about Deloitte. So it will give you consolidated answer in one single place. So you do not have to visit different websites to get your answer, right? And there are a lot of things uh, that are associated with this. This uh, tool also gives you the sources from where it is getting its information. So for example, as you can see, it is visiting different uh, pages of websites and we can also check these websites based on its reference. And if you see these numbers, one, two, these are the references of these sources from where it is getting the information. A lot of uh, you must be already aware of uh, chat GPT and uh, maybe using it on a daily basis. But uh, this tool is better than chat GPT in a lot of way because in chat GPT, uh, we cannot get uh, latest information unless we are using some third party plugin. And even that third party plugin will have its own limitations. But this tool perplexity.ai, this is a company again founded by an Indian, but it is uh, being used worldwide and it is so much in use that uh, people are getting attracted towards it. It has a lot of different features in addition to this. So I'll uh, go through them one by one. So like I said, apart from uh, asking questions, right, you can also ask uh, follow up questions like uh, what do they work in? So here, if you see, I'm not uh, telling what I'm talking about. So it understand that I'm still talking about Deloitte. So uh, this is a chatbot. So it will give you the follow up answer as well based on Deloitte only. And good thing is that if you see there are images that it is uh, scrapping from the web that will give you the some reference if you want to see what uh, uh, these images are you can understand something related to your question it may or may not be always very to the point but it is getting those in, uh, information for your references as well and like i said there are a lot of other things here so you can also share these answers uh, to someone else if you want to and you can also rewrite the answer okay and uh, you can also give a feedback uh, to the company the answer is uh, inaccurate or uh, unhelpful and they will uh, try to in improve this in the future and like i said uh, you can uh, view the sources here that uh, these are the sources from where it is getting its information from and uh, you can copy this answer as well so once you copy this information you can paste it into word document or any other like a text editor and uh, write an article on top of it or anything that you want to do this can also be used to write programming codes okay and apart from this, you can also edit your query and delete this. So this is an option. And if you see here, it says that the model that is being used here is GPT-4. So GPT-4 comes only with the paid version or a pro model which because I have subscribed to it. Uh, this is little costly for us. Uh, this is $20 a month, but I got it through a discount. So apart from this, if you see there are some related questions also. Every time you will ask a question, there will be some related question to this. And uh, you can either click on this to get the answer or you can also type up a follow up question. Okay. Apart from this also uh, you can do image search based on the video. Uh, you can also generate images and also you can search images. If you see here that there are three options that you can search based on image if you can upload here. So there is an option to upload here to see here. So it will ask you to upload, right? Uh, if you upload any images or video, then uh, it can and give you search a result based on that okay so let's see if we do some image search so it will show you all the images from this area right 
and uh, if we click on this generate image then uh, whether you want it in a form of painting or a photograph or diagram or illustration that also you can choose right so let's say if i do illustration then it will show you some uh, image that is being generated based on the answer so it takes some time because image generation is little trickier it's more complex process so it takes a little bit of time okay apart from this there are so many other things that you can see here so see it has generated one image and it's it's pretty nice right so it has i think uh, created something based on what it has read and there are a lot of corporate offices uh, then a lot of uh, text is also there right which are related to what we are asking right it may not always be very accurate but it is very good apart from this it also has something called copilot that uh, you can uh, turn on the copilot and uh, in the pro version you get a higher number of copilot but in the free version it is only 5 that is available okay so once you do a copilot then it gives you much more precise and accurate answer because uh, using a copilot uh, takes more computation power so that is why it is more expensive and only comes with the pro version apart from this uh, you can uh, go to your home and uh, ask for new query start a new query or new thread um, that uh, they call so you can start from here also as a new thread or you can just go to home and start asking questions so there are a couple of things in this when you start a new thread so there is a concept called focus area so in this focus area by default it is set to all that it searches the entire internet and the otherwise but if you want to focus only on the academic papers because there are a lot of research scientists or people working on the research they need to go through a lot of patents research paper and so on different curricular activities right so they can just focus their search only on this category or they can also focus on the writing if you are a content writer right if you are writing a blog you are into writing an article blogs or something like that so you can focus only on the writing part and uh, click on this and then start chatting with the ai assistant third option is that uh, you can go to ulfram alpha this is one of the tool uh, that uh, helps you in the statistical or mathematical computation and uh, you can uh, take assistant using this tool as well a uh, fourth option or like a focus area is youtube that uh, you can discover something or search youtube content and uh, this youtube content is not searched only on the title or description but it also search based on the content that is there in the video of that uh, youtube okay and uh, last option is the reddit because there are a lot of uh, discussions uh, and uh, different threads or subreddit uh, exist and uh, you can search based on the focusing only on that part and one interesting part is that you can also attach one document here and uh, let's say uh, if you want to ask some questions uh, based on this document right so it is also giving you a suggestion whether you want to summarize what is the conclusion but you can also write your own questions so let's uh, summarize this one first so it will parse this document and give you the summary so uh, this is really helpful so it takes uh, some time to parse it as you can see uh, it is talking about uh, some uh, research paper related to large language model right and it is uh, giving you the summary apart from this what you can see is that uh, on the left side there is a term called discover in this if you click here so you will go come across a lot of different questions that people have asked and uh, this tool has given answer to so this is something interesting that if you are feeling bored you can just go through these what people are interested into what they are reading what they are uh, looking into right and uh, you can go through these things and uh, apart from this there is a term called library this library is about like uh, what you have asked in the past right so um, any question that you ask uh, all these threads are stored here you can just uh, pick any of these thread and start from where you had left for those right so these things you can do here and again uh, there are option few option that you can delete a thread so uh, it has both mobile apps so if you see whether you are uh, an iphone user or an android user you can download this app and uh, you can use it as it is and there is also google chrome extension so you can use that also that is also pretty uh, good and um, apart from this yeah i'll uh, just uh, walk you through some of the settings in the uh, what we have so like i said uh, there is an option uh, in this account you can set your avatar you can also change the appearance from light uh, to dark uh, like this okay and uh, most important part here is ai model so here they support different types of models that are present there uh, ai models and all these models are very 
good and uh, highly in demand there is a perm extension as well which is really helpful and i use it uh, very frequently so you can just uh, search in the google for perplexity ai companion and uh, you will get something like this once you have done that you can go to any of the website so let's say if i am i click on this particular website right that i was talking about and i want to understand what has been written here so i'll go to the extension and click on this right so it gives me an option uh, to summarize it or i can also ask any question so let's say i click on summarize so it will read through this web page and uh, give me what has been written over here so as you can see it is uh, populating the text based on its content so let me know your thoughts in the comment how did you like it and uh, what else can be done here so if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe to our channel